seven. Barrett outside, the switch. Donchich goes, oh, what a great score! Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I was not able to bring this video sooner. I was at the gym and I had to do something else today. But when I did see this news on my phone, I was like, oh, it, like it put a smile on my face because Jericho Sims is one of the most underrated players on the New York Knicks. In my opinion, when he got an opportunity, I don't think he's being talked about enough. He's a low risk, high reward type of basketball player, especially on the contracts we have him on now. He's on a two-way contract before with the official NBA roster and on the G League as well so the estimated price of a three-year contract that he's going to be signing with the new york knicks is worth short of six million dollars that is the latest report i did see of fred katz of the athletic and jericho sims coming out of texas athletic freaking nature at one of the highest vertical jumps at the nba draft combine but i understand why he wasn't drafted really high his feel for the game wasn't the greatest he was kind of lost outside of the dunker spot did not execute well from the free throw line yes he has raw ability to block shots like potentially outside on the perimeter and in the interior, but he didn't really have a drastic jump year after year at Texas. He's not the youngest. So people are like, how much of an upside does he really have? He's kind of an old school type of big man. But I was like, the New York Knicks might need to take a swing here. Like it's the 58th overall pick we're talking about here. And it looks like it's worked out. Leon Rose, Tom Thibodeau, Scott Perry, just everyone a part of the New York Knicks organization has been impressed with him enough to change him from a two year um, two way contract to a three year contract here with the New York Knicks. And I like our depth now at the center position. You have Mitchell Robinson, who's a beast on the offensive glass, giving us second chance opportunities with his second jump, athletic freaking nature, rolling to the basket, being able to guard the perimeter, defensive versatility. And then you have Isaiah Hardstein that could pass the ball, has a good feel for the game, just brings a little more spacing offensively, unorthodox with the floaters. He's strong, he's physical, a little stronger than Mitchell Robinson. Then you have Jericho Sims, who played more years of college basketball, and when he got an opportunity, let's get it. Let's get into Jericho Sims. The reason why I really like Jericho Sims is because, well, obviously he surpassed any anybody's expectations for the 58th overall pick. We know he thrived in the summer league, showed off his athletic freaking nature. But something no one really talks about. Everyone's going to be talking about his ability to block shots. Everyone's going to be able. Everyone's going to be talking about his rim running ability, how he thrives in the dunker spot, catching lobs. He's one of the best screen setters on this roster. He is strong. He is physical. Yes, he may be shorter than Mitchell Robinson. I believe he's 6'10", 6'11", and they're projecting him as a power forward slash center. Obviously, he's a center now, but he sets damn good screens, and he positions himself so well, like one of the best players at positioning himself for rebounds on this team, if it's with his athleticism or if it's even with his body. So he's extremely good fundamentals on the glass, positioning himself for offensive rebounds and rebounds in general. Yes, he didn't have a huge sample size throughout the season, but projectedly getting a contract worth short of six million dollars that is a project projection i believe it said when i was reading the article it can't be be a lot obviously but jericho sims athletic freaking nature <laughs> one of the highest vertical jumps at the combine like i mentioned beast in the dunker spot beast rolling to the basket he even attempted a hook shot which i like to see yes it's only attempting it to not go in but that just shows that he's not afraid to try something new out there on the floor and expand his game so i'd like to see him maybe attempt more hook shots or something more out of the post when it comes to summer league didn't execute that well from the free throw line but jericho sims is such a humble dude he is so quiet in interviews it's just unbelievable he just seems like someone that would, he never gives himself credit other people have to give him credit but when, when he's out there on the floor he just brings such a high impact when it comes to his energy he's a team player does not give up on a play at all and he has ability to be a very good rim protector. We did see that in limited minutes when he finally got consistent minutes, at least towards the tail end of the season. But now with Noel not here, we'll, we'll see how he is with the, as a third string center. How many minutes is, is he going to get? 10 to 15 minutes? Barely any at all. Is he going to be an emergency policy player? You never know with Tom Thibodeau, even though I do what, like what Jericho Sims brings out there on the floor. He's a gamer. He's not afraid. But when it comes to defensive discipline, he definitely needs to get better. I mentioned his ability to rim protect with his wingspan with his athleticism but there was times he was lost defending the pick and roll communicating out there on the floor i think that's another step really communication because he has the athletic athleticism he moves his feet pretty well to be a versatile defensive player but i feel like that comes with reps or being out there on the floor more tom Thibodeau, say all you want but he really disciplines these players very well for the defense side of the basketball obviously evan fournier there's a long way with him he's never really been known as a defensive player but i like the signing low risk high reward humble dude plays extremely hard out there on the floor and i'm interested to see what jericho sims going to do this upcoming season will his feel for the game get better i feel like it will because 
maybe he's gonna he's gonna be learning a lot more in training camp or he's gonna understand things a lot more ha having Tom Thibodeau as a coach once again he's not at Texas anymore so yes let me know down below your thoughts I absolutely love with the signing doesn't put up crazy numbers but if you truly watch the games you saw his impact specifically that Brooklyn game peace out y'all